Tonight, with all of that rain coming this week, people who take busy 1792 through Maitland to get to work or school are nervous because we've been telling you the dip in the road under this train bridge has flooded and closed four times over the past month. This is what it looked like one of those times cars got stuck. Tomorrow, the city tells us it will vote on a plan to fix the problem for good again. News 6 is Jerry Askin has been following the story for the past month. Jerry, the city says the answer this time is big pipes and lots of dirt. Eric, the city says yes, and a vote tomorrow, as you mentioned, could add dirt to go around new stormwater pipes, according to the city. But for now, these pipes you see here has done the job, even though many would agree, um, some would agree, um, they have not been too effective. And this is a big deal, Eric, for many uh, drivers and residents, especially with more rain possibly on the way this week. It's just frustrating. For drivers here on this Sunday, rainy Mother's Day, back-to-back -back flooding here along 1792 near Monroe Avenue has been sickening. Every time it rains, you worry. Yes. <laughs> In the past month, flooding here has prompted major road closures, forcing cars underwater and made for a big city cleanup. In fact, four times in the past 30 days, despite Maitland City officials saying it wasn't going to happen again. There's so much traffic now, so they got to do something. And the city is working to do something. Tomorrow, they're holding a meeting to possibly approve their plan to buy $80,000 worth of dirt, hoping it'll help address the issue of flooding here and hopefully relieve headaches for drivers like Honey Gillum. If it helps, then yes, that's a good thing. Now, here's some background for you. It all began last month when the city went to clean Lake Jim and contractors blocked the drainage line. Since the first flooding here, crews have been working 16-hour days to install much larger pipes. The city has been hoping this temporary fix will address the flooding issue as they're installing permanent pipes. The fact that we had the first flood system, the, fl the first flooding happen uh, made us go back and take a good hard look at the plans. And now with the rain today and a chance of rain this week, residents simply want this watery mess fixed. They got to do something. And back live here, the city has been proactive. They've added um, emergency workers here to um, block this area, block traffic in case uh, possible flooding happens in the future. That vote again happens tomorrow at 6.30. Of course, News 6 will let you all know uh, what happens. For now, we're live in Maitland tonight. Jerry Askin, News 6.